I mean, why do we do the things we do? I think a lot of the work that we do stems out of personal interest or personal um, kind of reflection of who we are and how we deal with the struggles and the achievements and everything that's along the way. I'm uh, Luna bint Abdul Mullah Spoo, and I'm a mother of two, um, Huyun being the third baby. <laughs> <laughs> Cartographies of effect is part of Oyun's curatorial focus, Embodied Temporalities. It, it is a 10-day festival involving more than 40 artists, and I think the essence of it was to trace narratives of queer history and to also reflect on present resistance while practicing transnational solidarity and like a diasporic context. It's an artistic and a cultural reflection on queer migration while practicing global solidarity merged with decolonial ideas and practices. <laughs> We're trying to find a way to utilize the artistic capital that the city has. So we work with Berlin-based artists, but we also worked with uh, artists from Amsterdam and Paris. My personal highlight probably was the Queer Revolution Maroc. Uh, the second day, Mala and uh, Sadika and uh, Umaima were showing images and performing to the colonial history of North Africa. And uh, some of the images were really eye-opening, but also shocking at the same time, because I've never seen them before. And uh, it, showed the, it showed the brutality of colonialism, especially among uh, women in North Africa. And it was kind of like a, a reality check. You know, it was because it's not that long ago and colonialism is still, it's not over. It's not post-colonial. It's more like we're still working through it. And um, I think that was a collective experience where we all grew into it. And it was also one thing that the generation before us might not have been too interested in sharing with us. So I've learned so much from it and I've learned so much from the artists and the guests and just everything that, that, that was coming together. And the other events that we had, um, some of them on this stage, in this hall, also you could see that there were a lot of different people in the audience that would not usually have gone to uh, those type of events. And I spoke to one of them afterwards, and I think it was a maybe even a life-changing experience because they've never been in the same room with non-binary and trans North Africans or Africans or Arabs. So I think it did create something of like a community space within a space that you wouldn't feel like you might belong to. Like people met and they wanted to know more about themselves and each other. So I think definitely it did bring people together from the communities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would hope for more events to happen that, that can be created out, out of the community and for the community. And not only in Berlin, but also Europe-wide and globally. Yeah, I hope we can do many, many more festivals, many, many more events and bring together more people and grow as, as our union.